Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate a dolphin in After Effects. But before that, let's check out the layer separations in Adobe Illustrator. So in Illustrator, I have separated it only in four layers. One for the fin, one for the flappers. Each of these flappers are in a separate layer and the whole body is in a separate layer. Okay, let's rename this one as well. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the animation process. So now we are in After Effects and first let's add a ship over here. This is going to be the water level. And then we are going to draw a path for the dolphin movement, this whole jump. So we are going to pick a pen tool and draw a path. Let's change it to stroke and cancel the fill. So we are going to add few pins on this dolphin layer. One over here one somewhere around here and here and here and here and for the tails there would be few more pins and then we are going to convert these pins into bone layers so select the pin tool then turn on the twig based plugin and here is the add bones option and it is going to convert the pins into bone layers now let's add different color marks on these layers and rename it to properly distinguish it. So these tail layers are dif in different colors for upper part and the lower part. So I'm going to parent it in a chain like this and this two with this final tail layer and the tail layer with this B means the body layer and we are going to parent this layer with this one as well in a chain. So now when we move this layer everything moves together. Okay so right now we are not going to open the position property. Go to the path layer that we have created earlier. In the path, in the path property, we are going to select the path property and control C to copy and we are going to paste it over here in position. And you can see the position has been added over here. One thing we can do is we can simply go to the transform and add the auto orient along path. So it is going to automatically orient with the path. All right. Now we are going to convert this keyframe and cancel the row across time. First let's check the timing once. Okay, so let's change the timing. So we are going to jump to the next 24 frames and we are in 30 frames per second. And we are going to pull it back over here. And next let's jump to around 22 frames. And we are going to pull it back to somewhere around here. And the motion is going to be abrupt right now. Because it's a full AZS keyframe. Now we are going to go to the motion graph and we are going to completely select all these keyframes and change it to convert it into the auto bezier keyframes first. And we are going to pull this down. So when it's up, it should slow down but it shouldn't slow down as much so that it actually stops there but it should have a very little movement and at the at this edges it should have the maximum speed now let's check out okay so we need to fix the graph a bit so we're going to slightly pull it even up a bit and as well as we are going to drag these handles from this. So this means how much influence it has over this side of the graph, this particular keyframe. 
so we're going to drag the handle so as the dolphin goes closer to this point it should slow down so we're going to drag the handles like this and moreover we are going to pull it up like this as well let's check it once okay so this one is looking better so we are, we are going to continue with this one so now let's change this water level to absolute white so that it actually works as a mat now for all these positions we are going to add some in between keyframes so that the curvature of the dolphin should incline with this carved path as well so for that we are going to change the position and rotation property of this bone layers So we are doing it with the maximum height first. And at this position, we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframes. And this midpoint keyframes, we are going to change it to the roving keyframes. Let's check out. So these positions we need to fix. So let's do the same process and repeat the same process once again. Yeah, now it's looking better. So what I actually did is I have simply taken the reference from this path and just adjusted the curvature of the dolphin with the position and the rotation keyframe of this bone tools. So this is what I did and you can even add even more detailing to it but the process is pretty much same. So you have to add more in between keyframes such as over here it's not still not perfectly aligned you can still further do that add more keyframes okay now we are going to add even more detailing to this animation so we're going to add some movement in this fins and this flappers so let's get inside the composition and we're going to add pins on this So we're going to select these four pins and add bones to this layer. And the rest of the pins are going to use as simply attach that particular portion of the illustration with the body. Now let's rename the layers. And we're going to parent these layers in a chain. Okay, so now we are going to add rotation property keyframes. So at this point we are going to add a keyframe 
at this point again and at this point again so at this point we are going to select this two keyframes and we are going to bend it somewhat like this maybe this one even more and this one as well let's copy and paste this keyframes and the last of these frames and select the keyframes and convert it into easiest keyframes and at the middle this middle keyframes i'm going to convert it into the roving keyframes for that you have to press and hold the control key and double click on it so now let's check out the animation once again and if we offset it it is going to look even better All right. Also, we can add some offset on these tails as well. So for that, we have to add some rotation keyframes. So at this point, we can slightly rotate it like this. Maybe minus 15 degrees is enough. And select and convert it into easiest keyframes. And this one into roving keyframe. And we're going to offset this keyframes a bit to add some extra movement on the tail yeah this one is actually looking even better and then you can add the movement in this fins in a similar manner so like this you can animate a dolphin in after effects also if you want to learn how to animate droplets in after effects then again you can check out my other videos on it so i have made a complete detailed tutorial on how to animate water droplet you can check it out i will be providing that in the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial Alright, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.